Hello everybody, today we're going to be reading Diary of Wimpy Kid Manny's Secret. I randomly found it on Reddit and it seemed pretty cool, so I decided I'm going to read it today. And I'm not even going to drone on with a long intro, I'm just going to say this straight up. I am pretty close to 1k subs, right? Like 910 right now. So if we get that number up to 1k by 2023, we only have like 10 more days, but I think we could do it. That's like nine subs a day we could do that honestly so yeah make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel and leave a comment so it gets the video is caught in the algorithm and more people see this the more people can subscribe just just support me please i really appreciate that anyway without further ado let's get into it diary we could manny secret by you slash jack has smelly socks <clears throat> december sunday recently manny has been acting really weirdly kind of like he was the boss of everybody he'll demand that i do things for him and they're all things he can do himself. He also calls everybody Ploopy. Thinks, I think it means peasant or something. Wipe my hiney, Ploopy. I considered dropkicking the little runt, but I decided against it because I knew Mom would somehow find a way to blame his death on me. That damn buzzkill. It's very odd because Roderick and I have always known that Manny is a higher royalty than us, but Manny has never really expressed that himself. He acts as if he is the best thing since drummies. I hope life hits him soon and he drops down a peg. Monday. Today, Manny came home from preschool in a suit, and his pockets were casually stuffed with $100 notes. I was shocked, but Mom didn't seem so surprised. I asked Mom where Manny got the clothes and all the money, but she just said, My little boy is learning to earn a bag. Mom then gave Manny a hug and left. Then Manny waddled closer to me and started threatening me. I'll wait, Bubby. Listen up. Get your ass in my business, and I'll have your head. Oh, you dead. Whatever. Now, I'm not the bravest of heart, but a three-year-old isn't intimidating me. I could easily boot him across a football field if this guy thinks he could put sunglasses on and scare the shit out of my bowels. He has something coming. Tuesday. So, I did some investigating in Manny's room while he was at preschool, and I found, uh, I found this. It's what clearly a picture of Mom. I don't know if it has something to do with how he's making his cash. It could be, because people are weird and I would, would, don't want that. But at the same time, who's weird enough to want pictures of that old raisin? Bruh, Greg's mom is bad as fuck. He, he don't gotta be dissing her like that. Wednesday. Okay, I take it back. That picture... What did I say? Okay, I'm gonna read it. Okay, I take it back. That picture is sexy as fuck. I spent a whole hour jacking off to it. Bro, nah, Greg's down bad, bro. He belongs to the streets, dog. He ain't, he ain't got... Nah, no, no, bro. They, he ain't got no excuse for that. That's wild. Thursday. Okay, back on topic. I followed Manny around a little bit, and after leaving preschool early, he came to his house. Seems as that sort of that some sort of party was being held at his at this mansion. Judging by what I could see through the windows, Manny was the host, and he seemed to be making a money deal with a silhouette that I recognize. Wait, it's Rowley, Rowley freaking Jefferson. What the balls was Rowley doing with Manny, and how and why was money involved? I intend to find out. Friday today, when we were walking to school, I started to interrogate Rowley, but he didn't give me good answers. What did you do last night? I met my Discord waifu. Oh, dude, my, uh, 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 I, that was like a really painful thing to read. I think Manny told Rowley to say that if anybody asked, I've heard Manny talking about waifus before. Saturday. Saturday is always the day that Manny acts the oddest, so I decided I would do some more snooping, and I walked in on Manny showering a dozen girls in money. I regret drawing it, so I scribbled it out. Because if somebody saw it, they would accuse me of CP. And if I'm being honest, I'm ashamed to say that I secretly stole a few hundred dollar bills. Sunday. The next time I saw Manny in the morning, he kept giving me death stares. I don't know if it's related to last night or not, but I don't feel safe. With the money I stole... Wait, 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 wait. Did the person actually draw Manny with a bunch of, like, baby girls and then scribble it out? Or did they just draw Manny and, like, some feet and then scribble it out? Because, like, that's a big, I, and now I'm concerned. I don't feel comfortable reading the rest of this without an answer, honestly, but whatever. Um, anyway, next time I saw Manny in the morning, he kept giving me death stares. I don't know if it's related to last night or not, but I don't feel safe. With the money I stole, I bought a gun. Luckily, the guy behind the counter didn't ask for ID or any of that. Only in America, dude. Can I have a gun? Yep. Monday. Today I came to school with my gun, just in case. Everything was normal until fourth period when... Greg Hefley, report to the office to meet a special person. Even though I was confused, I went to the office. When I got to the office, I realized I should have known who the special person was. Take a seat, Bubby. What do you want, Manny? Listen to what I say, or else. 
I mean, he pulled a gun out of his uh, gun out of his own out. So obviously, I sat down. That's what I thought, Bubby. Manny, I'm serious. Tell me what's no, Gregory. I'm serious. Do you expect I wouldn't notice? Notice what? I've already warned you once, but I'll warn you again. If you get in the way of me, I'll take this thing in my hand and blow your brains out. Many of them pointed the gun at the roof and shot three times. Screams and fire alarms emitted, but I barely noticed because I was distracted with the enormous amount of smoke that was exiting Manny's gun. Once the smoke cleared out, Manny had disappeared. At this point, I don't care what Manny's doing. Part of that's annoying me is the most is how he seems to be taunting me, but I won't take this any longer. I know how to deal with him. What I'm going to do tonight is what Manny deserves for being such a dickhead to me my whole entire life. See you in hell, Manny, you ploopy. Oh, and, okay, well, Greg's killing Manny. Interesting. Tuesday, the Daily, Daily Herald. Crime boss found dead. This morning, infamous crime boss Manny Halfley was dead with a bullet hole through his head. The corpses were found in the bedroom at 7.45 a.m. when his father, Frank Halfley, was trying to find the bad smell. We interviewed the morning with Manly, and Ma Manny's brother, Roderick, was open for comment. At least I get the blanket now. The rest of the Hamley F Hathley family didn't speak. The re next question is, what impact will Manny's death have on the city? Manny was the kingpin the city needed to keep everything in order. Crime boss? Manny was a crime boss? A kingpin? How did I not know? When I got to school, people started giving me the condolences and asking if I knew who killed him. Well, as you know, I killed him. Although, Roderick's probably on to me, but if he did, I no, I would gain respect. January. Sunday. I'm starting to see why the newspaper was scared about seeing the effects Manny's death would have on the city. Crime is rampant. The economy has decreased 400% and we've entered a recession. This is all because I killed Manny. We're all in a more negative state. I thought killing Manny would make me feel better. I was wrong. I've tried my best at stimulating the economy with the guns I bought. I've been hunting down criminals who previously couldn't operate because Manny was in charge. Only no, only no, now, now do I realize I've been doing it all wrong. I can't revert what I did while hiding in Manny's shadow. I, might, I must step out of the shadow. I must be what Manny was. To be continued. The end. Please subscribe. Please. Just help me hit 1K. I'd really appreciate it.